Voters will make their choice on a number of key races, including U.S. Senate and who will be the governor of Florida. CBS 4's Nicole Lauren is live at a polling location in Miami Beach with more. Nicole, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Maribel Keith. You know, Governor DeSantis truly hoping for a red wave across the state of Florida. Meanwhile, Charlie Crist is hoping to overtake him. In just two hours, the polls will open here across the state, and that's when you will be able to decide. So if you are heading out this morning to cast your ballot before you head to work, here's what you need to know. Take a look at your screen. The polls open at 7 o'clock this morning. They close at 7 o'clock tonight. Remember, you have to bring a valid photo ID. Like I said, it has your name, photo, and signature on this. And don't forget, 7 o'clock tonight is the deadline for your mail-in ballots. Now, meanwhile, Governor DeSantis held a rally last night in Hialeah. There he touted the fact that he never locked down the state during the pandemic, telling voters if you do not elect him, you can expect a soft on crime policies and you can, quote, forget about education. Now, on the other hand, Charlie Chris continues to bash the leadership of DeSantis. You can see this video from his final campaign event last night in Wilton Manors. He told voters, quote, it's been a nightmare under this guy going on to talk about a woman's right to choose and how DeSantis is, quote, making it harder for teachers to teach and harder to vote. Listen. And the only thing he does is try to make his future right. In Florida, we held the line for you, for your families, your job, your businesses. Kids education. So we're going to have much more on our election coverage coming up in our next half hour of news. That includes a breakdown of the Senate race between Marco Rubio and Val Demings. I'm live in Miami Beach. Nicole Lawrence, CBS 4 This Morning.